Previously, we covered the top of our CPU with synthetic rubber, but it sucked as thermal paste. So today we're covering the bottom of our CPU to see if rubber can protect all these fragile metal pins against the US Postal Service. And it actually looks like we're covering the entire thing in rubber. So yeah, no way this can go wrong, right? Two hours later. Okay, now with the rubber set, we can extract our CPU to see that while it didn't stick to the IHS, it did create a rubber shielding in between each of our pins. But now the question is, is this shielding enough to protect those pins during a shipment across town? And don't worry, I won't keep you waiting for a part two. Let's fast forward. Three days later. With our shipment returning back to the studio, we can tear open the box to find our rubber coated CPU. And so now it's time to extract that rubber, which honestly was a weird mix of satisfying and frightening all at the same time. But the fact it could be removed so cleanly was honestly really surprising. And the pins, honestly, not too bad. And after a few touch ups, not only does our CPU still fit inside of the socket, and not only does this PC still spin to life, this thing even posts. The CPU still works. Confirming rubber is a great protector of pins. Although very inconvenient. Should probably just use a clamshell.